Okay, good day everyone. It's Total Investor here, everyone's favorite YouTube investment channel. Uh, I'd like to review something that I had previously reviewed back in May 11th, and that was lumber. Okay, back then it was just going sky high and it was all over the internet. Everybody was talking about it even on the news. How high is lumber going? It's getting ridiculous, and it was. It topped out at just over $1,700. And I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm using the Lumber July 2021 contract. Okay. Uh, back then, I pointed out that this formation, this red candle, was called a bearish engulfing pattern. And given that the RSI was sky high, that this could be the top and it would be time to get out. At least that's what I was thinking at the time. Well, it turns out that I was right dead on to the day that it was the time to get out. And of course, those that did made a ton of money and they saved themselves a ton of money. Uh, again, by the way, that uh, video is still up you can go to the channel itself and search for uh, lumber and it will uh, it was posted or uploaded on May the 11th you can review that and see for yourself uh, right now uh, I want to go over that same thing uh, with the, the lumber it has corrected all the way down to around twelve hundred dollars okay initially which, if you're using uh, Fibonacci retracements, it was about a 50% of the advancement, okay, coming from 700, 1730, and then back down to around 1200, uh, that would have been a 50% retracement, which is to be expected. Then we had a retracement back. This is so, this is actually a retracement of the retracement coming from 1200 to 1500, okay. And that would be approximately, what, 60%, give or take, of that retracement. Now, we're in that third wave, the decline, and today it went below support. Okay, support being 1,200. Also, what do we see? Well, we have the RSI below 50. It traded there for a number of days. Today, we're at 37 solidly below the 1200 uh, line we have the 10-day moving average sloping downwards and the price of the commodity is below the 10-day moving average bearish the blue line is the 50-day moving average the commodity is below the 50-day moving average they haven't quite crossed yet but everything is bearish from here the the di's crossed back on I believe it was June the 1st so that was at around well it's hard to say exactly just what 12 60 give or take so that should have been another clue to get out but now we're just getting more and more confirmation with the price action where do we go from here well if we take this price just over 1700 and this price this difference of just over $500 uh yeah so five hundred dollars from the the top of the next correction fifteen hundred minus five hundred would bring us back to about a thousand that's using uh that uh particular uh formation if you want to call it or we can look at it this way if this is being a an inverted triangle where the floor is twelve hundred and the top is just over 1700 that's the difference of just over 500 then you would take an additional 500 from the support here or the or the base of the triangle and that would be bring us down to $700 okay so i know there's a pretty big spread there between 700 and 1000 but either way everything still looks bearish on that Again, I did mention to you that everything that I said on the original uh, 
video that it's expected, you know, it was, this was an educational video that it was not a recommendation. The same holds for this video. Okay. Strictly educational, not investment advice. Uh, I'm not your broker. So that's what you have to go on. So, you know, I'm just here to inform you what's going on with the lumber market. Okay. So I, what I would like from you is to please subscribe to this channel. Uh, just hit the, the George Washington icon, click on that, and you'll be subscribed. Uh, YouTube will notify you right away whenever I post a new video. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions on this particular commodity or any commodity, any stock, or even cryptos, please, in the comments down below, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Okay, and with that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.